everybody. How are you? Sorry for being a little bit dark right now, but I have the front door open, propped open to get some air in here. It's kind of hot. Booger is basically just inside the doorway. She's stretched out and enjoying the sun and enjoying the cool air. And Blackie is right on the bottom part of the step. They're just looking at each other. <laughs> As you all know, I was hoping that Blackie at some point could come in and join Booger. You know, maybe be an indoor outdoor cat. But to do that, her and Booger have to get acquainted and the interactions between the two of them have been, uh, they've been friendly, no animosity there. It's just, it's a, it's a slow process of them getting to know each other and understanding that neither one is the enemy. And I'm, it's very promising. Uh, again, no fighting, no hissing, no backward ears pressed against the head, none of that. So I'm just letting them get acquainted on a really nice day. But you're not here to talk about cats. We're here to talk about Miss Amanda Bowden. So I posted a reaction to Amanda just a little while ago. And I want to post another one. And this has to do with a supposed eviction. Now, I watched a little bit of the video. And again, something don't smell right. Something definitely doesn't smell right. There, there's some details that really don't make sense to me. Uh, for those who might be asking, the content shift a little bit for my channel. You know, why I'm covering the beggars on TikTok? Well, because there's so many cows that are begging. And if they're going to beg, if they're going to tell stories, I love catching liars in lies. You know, it's just you would think that people who want to scam people out of money would be better liars, but they're the worst liars. They tell so many lies, they get caught in them. Speaking of which, speaking of lies that people tell, I went on Reddit and I was just doing some further internet digging on Amanda, nothing going in real life, mind you, but just I wanted to see a little bit more of her, like find out more stuff about her. And some of the stuff I found out, you guys are not going to like. In fact, the first thing I tell you is going to make you so incredibly angry. It made me very angry. And I'm like, the nerve of this woman. So she claims that she has had cancer. And cancer is very, very serious. It's nothing to joke about. It's certainly nothing to lie about. But stuff on Reddit say that she was faking cancer. Uh, she went so far as to post fake scans online claiming they were hers, but they were actually scans that were stolen from someone else. Also, some other interesting tidbits. Uh, Amanda has a husband by the name of Frank. And I guess Frank, the husband, he and Amanda have an, an adult only bookstore, bookshop in town. So if you're someone and you have a business, even an adult business, why are you coming on TikTok and begging for money? Is that business not making money or enough money that you can cover your bills and your rent? But they do have an actual business. Uh, so I also found out, and the reasons for this are a bit unclear, that many people requested refunds from her for something. I'm going to do some investigation on that. Uh, many of the TikToks I, I've looked at, she's always asking for taxi money. I saw a clip of her posted online where she was somewhere stranded at the DMV and she was walking home. I find that interesting because she did say that she had limited mobility she had problems with moving, so how could she possibly do that? Oh, also another tidbit related to the faking cancer. Uh, the, the faking cancer thing. She said that she had cancer, but really it was hip replacement surgery due to an accident that she went through with her daughter. So that's quite the jump. 
you know, you have an auto accident with your daughter in the car and suddenly you have cancer. Hmm. So that's what kind of person we're dealing with. Somebody who will go so far with the scamming, that they will claim that they have cancer. Very detestable, very deplorable. I'd also like to say that, you know, there's nothing wrong with being a generous person and wanting to help people in times of need. But when it comes to people online that you do not know, that you've never talked to, if they're giving you a sob story, you don't really know that person per se. They could be completely 100% honest. They could be 50% honest. They could be 20% honest or not honest at all. But if somebody you don't know, a stranger, is in front of you giving a sob story, how do you know if they're being honest with you? or if they're just scamming you out of money. You know, it's a sad world that we live in, that there are people who are honestly in need, honest, good people that might have trouble getting help just because there are so many liars and scammers out there. And so, aside from doing foodie beauty content, I'd like to expose some of the liars and the lies to maybe protect some people from getting scammed or bring to light some types of schemes that are out there. So why don't we just get into the video and let me just go ahead and pull that up. Because again, like the story that she's telling about the eviction, the math ain't mathin. It's just some things that are not making sense. Let me just make sure I have it pulled up. Perfect. So before we get into that, and this clip is courtesy of Wendy's World, and I'll leave a link for the original video in the description. Uh, let me just go on to the comments. Zero Regret says one mark of these kind is that no matter what they need, it's never enough. Where is her family? That's, that's a really good question. Where is the family? Why is she begging strangers on the internet for funds? Social workers are supposed to be helping her. Yeah, so why aren't they? Uh, Terry says, it's an everyday occurrence now. Where's your check? Yeah, where is the check? Uh, Avery says, this is old and I'm new to this rabbit hole. I've gone down. Me too. One would think if TikTok starts to interfere with your livelihood, check, etc. Maybe get off and stop being an open book. So in my research on TikTok, it seems that Amanda keeps getting reported. There's a whole lot of people that don't like her for various reasons. And she keeps getting reported and videos keep getting removed. And like, I don't know if she's on some kind of government assistance or programs or whatnot. Uh, but if she is, uh, this could certainly interfere in that, you know, coming online and, and getting money from people and you're not reporting it and so forth. So, <laughs> you know, is it worth it? to come online and beg money from people and it endangers other things that might be going on that are important to you. So let's go on to the video. I'm gonna blow it up full size as much as I can because there's some really interesting comments from people, really interesting. So let's get to, let's get to. I only need $42. Because I have to give my landlord 10%. And I had to call around to every organization. So she's saying that she's going to go into an eviction. And she has to give her landlord $42. She's saying that the landlord wants 10% of what she owes. Which would make it, what, $420? So they're able to accept $42. You know, if you're someone and you fall on hard times, if you talk to your landlord, there's some landlords that are not nice, but there are some that are understanding. I don't know which type of landlord Amanda has, but if you make your situation known to them, if you're reasonable, if you're nice and say, hey, uh, I just fell behind. Can we work something out? Can I just work out some kind of payment plan with you? They'll work with you. 
you know, because no landlord, they, they don't want to spend the money. They don't want to spend the money to take somebody to court to get them out of the property. All they want is their rent money. They just want to get paid. And if they can get paid in a simple way versus a complex way, then they'll be all for it. So she's coming online and saying, I need $42. I do know something about the eviction process, and it's different for all areas and all landlords. Depending on the landlord, depending on the lease, depending on the area, they might give you 30 days once the eviction notice has been served. Or they might give you, uh, you might have three months if you really want to be extreme about it. You might have a few months to move out if things go to the courts. But $42, and that's the only thing stopping an eviction. I mean, that just, that doesn't, it smells fishy. No, they're giving me until five when the office closes. I'm screwed. I'm just. So you waited until the 12th hour to say something. You literally waited until the 12th hour to open your mouth about your eviction. I, Amanda, I'm sure you knew about this thing well before now. Why wait until the 12th hour and put pressure on people to fix this thing for you? I'm screwed. I've been spending all day trying to find a rate, like calling around to churches, to everybody. But if anybody can help me out with the remaining $42, my CA's right here. PayPal and Venmo are my bio. I'm just ready to give up. I'm ready to freaking give up. No, because I had a troll report saying that I was hiding income. When I got there, I passed in all the information because I had it all on my phone. So So people in the chat people in the chat are asking, did you get your check? I don't know what check Amanda is supposed to receive, how much it's supposed to be for. Yeah, but where's where's the check? What happened to it? Because Michaela, I would rather call around to resources when they started opening today than sit there and deal with what I was dealing with. I'd rather try to get the resources first. I called so many churches this time of year. They're not able to help. Okay, so this person, Christina, says they do not stop a check just because someone says you're hiding income. So, again, there's there's like one of the lies that's being told. Okay, I'm not dealing with that either. It is what it is. It happened. Don't know what to tell you. Now, I don't know if I've missed it, but that I was as I was watching this video, somebody in the chat said, did you get the 50 that I sent you through PayPal? I don't know if I've missed it yet, but somebody sent her $50 through PayPal or Cash App. So if she needed $42, she's already got it. No, I didn't get my check. It probably won't be the full five. Okay, so more clarification because we're, we're finding stuff out as we go. Uh, so Alicia says, so now your SSI income is being withheld for five weeks. I don't know what would cause an SSI check to be held for, for five weeks. Five weeks because... When they looked at the information, when they looked at the information, they pretty much said, this is going to be. That's my CA. No, I do have an appointment with the town hall next week. I have to, you know, of course, get there. Okay, there it is. That's the comment I was looking for and I thought I missed. So y'all look. The person named Lex 
saying, did you get the 50 I sent on cash app? So she needed $42, according to her. She just got 50. But even after somebody saying openly, I sent you 50 on cash app, she continues to beg. No, he's letting me wait until the office, well, before the office closes. Lex, I didn't get anything on CA. I need prayers, so many prayers. She, she's not even looking down at her phone to see if something were sent on Cash App. I have Cash App on my phone. And one thing about Cash App, you know, you, you will get like a little notification. You hear like the little cash register sound or some other sound. Plus, you get notified by email. You get a little email saying so-and-so sent you money on Cash App. She's not even looking down at her phone to find out. I have until five o'clock to get the $42. And again, this is, this is a scam tactic. This is a total scam tactic where the person who's a scammer, they're not going to go for the big amount right away. They're not going to ask for a big lump sum right away. They're going to be more sneaky about it. You know, they're going to cast a wide net in front of a bunch of people and act like they really don't need that much. They'll name a very small amount, like $20 or $11 or $15 or $30, because what they're hoping for is that the small amount will be sent by several people. And those people who are sending it, they're not, in con they're not connected to each other. They're not communicating amongst each other. They can't talk to each other and say, oh, I sent the $11 that she needs. The rest of you don't have to. So let's put cast a wide net, ask for a small amount in front of a whole bunch of people in front of an audience of I don't know how many here. And that $42 that she's asking for times three, four, five people that can easily add up to a few hundred dollars or more. All because somebody wants to be hateful and report and I mean, anything would help. Now she's changing her story a little bit. So she started out the live saying, I definitely need $42. Now she's saying anything would help. Well, if somebody sent her $15 and that's all she got, would the landlord accept $15? Would they say, oh, we'll give you a couple more days to come up with the other 42? And then after you get paid the 42, because according to you, it's 10% of what you owe. Is there a plan to get the rest that you do owe? Or is the plan go back on TikTok and beg and beg and beg until you get the rest? Because I need to give 10% of my rent to the landlord. That's really interesting, though. I mean, dang. Uh, where is Amanda living that her rent is $420? Where is this place? <laughs> That's lower rent than what I pay, girl. Most rent anywhere, any place, any apartment is like twelve hundred, fifteen hundred, two thousand. My goodness, I mean, how low does the rent have to be to get it paid? I mean, four twenty is a steal. And, and living in an apartment complex with a washer and dryer hello do i need can i move in not with you though just alone i've already done the advance no i can't get the advance on ca but if anyone can help out with any of it i would yeah so somebody in the chat is saying where are you going to get the other 90 percent that's what i just said you're so appreciative and here's another wise question from Love Yourself, 
saying, and then how long do you have to come up with the rest? That's a reasonable question. So if Amanda comes up with $42 this day, how long is the landlord giving her to come up with the rest? I would think like two weeks because another two weeks after that, she would owe rent again. Jess, I'm going to the town hall to see if they can give me some rental assistance next week. I have an appointment. Love yourself. I have an appointment next week. Um, Kyle, I'm an open book. I report all my stuff because I don't want to be penalized later on. That's why when they looked at my information, they laughed and said, oh, this is not going to take long because... It's all gifts and donations. Look, I don't know a whole lot about government programs. I don't know a whole lot about Social Security or SSI or SSDI. Uh, but I do know with certain ones, it doesn't matter if it's gifts or donations. Like, you have to report that. Like, if you don't report whatever income is coming in, you can get in serious trouble. And I've been calling around to churches all day today. I can't help that nobody can help. Because, Jess, I haven't gotten my check. I haven't gotten a check since September 3rd. So hold on a minute. Stop right there. That was interesting. You haven't gotten a check since September 3rd. So you're missing a whole check. Your check didn't come. And you knew when your check didn't come that you were going to fall behind with everything, including your rent. And you're waiting until the 12th hour to fix things, to look around for assistance, to call different churches and organizations. If it were me, I would have been on the phone and calling people immediately. That way I have a big window of time to try to find some way to fix it, not wait until the very last second. That's just silly. They want me to give 10% to keep from eviction. I mean, that just sounds weird to me. That the only thing stopping an eviction is $42. Does that sound weird to anybody else? That the landlord is going to look at you and say, you need $42 or else? It's a really, really small amount. Prayers definitely do help. Well, Kyle, you know, I don't need your doubt or your negativity right now. I just need positive vibes. I would like to know where all the money from this adult bookstore business, if there's any money that's being made there, is it going strictly for the business? Is there no money being made that can help with the rent? Like my question is, where is the husband in all of this? Amanda is married. Where's the husband? What, what is his part in all of this? Is, is he helping at all? If there's any money being made from this side business, like, does it help at all? Like, why is she on TikTok begging if they have a legitimate storefront of some sort? Well, I don't know. Kyle Snore, your part of Kenesha. You know, I don't know what notifications she has on her phone, but I keep hearing the phone go off. I don't know what that's for. Kind of sounds like PayPal. I could be wrong, though. Don't hold me to that. No, because somebody, I'm in investigation right now because somebody said I wasn't reporting all my um, exactly, Lisa. No, I didn't, Janice.
Um, no, I expect to get my check. Yeah, and that's another point. Thank you for bringing that up, Cheryl, in the chat, saying there are no more paper checks with SSI. Yeah, most people have things set up for direct deposit. And I would think that if Amanda is receiving money through, say, Cash App or PayPal, you can have it hooked up to where that goes straight to your bank, which means you can get direct deposit, which means if you're through some kind of government program, then it's not about a paper check. It's about a direct deposit. So what happened with that? Back. SSDI, Donna. I already am applying for work at home jobs. You don't have to report donations or gifts, but I did yesterday. Yeah, and that's another good point. I, I'm loving the people in the chat today. They're not being nasty. They're just bringing up different things that uh, are important. So Crawl says, can your landlord call and verify them holding your check? Now, that might help her case. If she goes to the landlord and says, hey, I've got a check coming. It's just being held right now. Maybe the landlord will stay the eviction. Hey, when I went in. No, I didn't. What's your question, Alyssa? I don't feel cozy. Okay, this person, Imagine Living, says, I called SSI, and they said they don't give out checks anymore. They do it for emergency situations. Look it up. Okay, you know what? Since there's a discussion about SSI and reporting income, let me just uh, do you have to report extra income to SSI because I, I would like to know about this. Okay, according to this says you must report your monthly wages and changes in income from other sources to get accurate monthly SSI payments. If you live with your spouse, you must also report their income. Let's see. Now, there's a lot here about it. Uh, what? Income is allowed with SSI in, I believe she said she's in Maine. Okay, so this is what I found out. Like, I, I believe I remember Amanda saying that she lives in Maine. So this is the information that I'm seeing here. It says, if you are eligible for SSI, have SSI-related main care for your health insurance and are employed, 1619B allows you to work and keep main care coverage without a main care spend down. You can continue to be eligible for main care coverage until your gross animal annual income reaches a certain amount. In Maine, this amount is $48,959 in 2024. So I don't know what that would work out to monthly for her, but that's just some interesting information to know. Alyssa, I wish I could work. I cannot go into, there is no employer. I'm so tired of hearing that. I am so tired. I'm exhausted from hearing that. Are you guys tired? I need a nap. <laughs> I'm so tired. I, it, it makes no sense. The excuses make no sense to me. How someone like Amanda or 
Lisa Richards or or anybody that gets on TikTok or YouTube that says, I can't work when there are plenty of online jobs. It's amazing to me that she says, I can't work. I physically can't work. Okay. So you might have some physical limitations. But if you're on TikTok for hours and hours and hours doing live streams, begging several hours, then that means you could spend the same amount of hours in an online job and you would make guaranteed income. Guaranteed versus I might make something today. I might not, you know, stability versus instability. It's going to let me come and go basically as my pain pleases. Uh, so that's what it's about. Like you want the power to come and go. I'm horrible, Abby. But if anyone can help me out, I'm trying to get work at home jobs. I've applied for over 50 of them. You know what? If you applied for 50 and not gotten hired by anybody, you know what to do? You apply for 50 more. And if those don't pan out, another 50 and another 50 and another 50. And you keep going until somebody hires you. But my landlord, by five o'clock before the office closes, wants 10% of my rent. If you look it up, it says you do not have to report gifts or donations. And they said that verbally. I, I, no, no, I, I don't. I don't know if that's right. It doesn't sound right to me. I think you have to report those two. I'm not sure though. Maybe some of you that are in my audience, maybe you guys know more about this stuff than I do. Cause I'm, I'm just a noob. I'm a novice. Please educate me. I would love to learn more. I mean, I'm not even here for that. So, Brady says, well, you have an hour. So she's literally on the 12 and a half hour. <laughs> so it's four o'clock where she is. She's got one hour to come up with $42 to take down to the office to stay the eviction. No, I have no reason to do that, Rosa. There's really not. Ah, so that's, that's a good point. Somebody, the audience, I love it. You guys are, you guys, some of you make good lawyers. Uh, so Alicia says, if they don't have to report donations, then why are they investigating this? That's the question of the hour, isn't it? If there's nothing wrong here, why the investigation? There's no investigation unless there's something that might be going wrong or something is shady. Not much that you need for a link for that because. No, I didn't get the money. I got off. So apparently Amanda was on yesterday because somebody just asked in the chat. Didn't you get the money yesterday? So she was on yesterday. And isn't it funny that she was on yesterday and, and just now today at the 12th hour, she's bringing this up. I'm not even talking about this right now. There's no reason to lie. If I wanted to lie, I'd make my life a lot better. Yeah, and so Tina says, almost four o'clock. Why did you wait until now to come on? I would think if you're someone coming on TikTok and you need some rent money or or stay of eviction money, you wouldn't wait till the, the office is almost closed. You know, wouldn't it make more sense to come on at say eight o'clock in the morning, nine o'clock in the morning? That way you've got all day to talk to an audience and and, and hope that something happens. Not that anybody should do that. Nobody should get on TikTok and, and put it on other people to get their rent money. That's not what I'm saying. It's just 
why wait until like the office is almost closed to do it? But if anyone can help out, Diane, I need. Okay, you know what? Like, I'm sorry to stop this. I'm really sorry. But I'm I'm deadly curious about something. I'm looking something up. I'm sorry if I'm stopping this right now. Like I'm, I'll, I'll tell you what I'm curious about. Let me look. Like I'm, I'm looking up the notification sounds because certain, like certain apps, there's a notification sound. That's not it. I know I've heard that sound before, but th there are, if you're, if you're getting money through say PayPal or cash app, Sometimes you hear like a sound that goes with it to let you know you've got money. So I'm wondering if the sound I keep hearing on her phone is that sound. Forty-seven dollars. Um, Forty-two more dollars. Forty-two more dollars. So this person, Beatrice, says I donated money to her once and never got a thank you. Well. Most beggars never say thank you. They'll never say thank you for the money you send them, but they'll always come back to you and say, can I get some more money? If anyone can help out with the remaining $42 by five o'clock, I would so appreciate it. My CA is right here, PayPal and Venmo in my bio. Anything helps. You know, I, I honestly wouldn't trust her with the money. Because let's just say she got the $42. Somebody said, hey, I, I, I'm generous Jennifer over here. I'll send the $42. How does anybody know that money is going directly to the landlord? Now, she provided a link or something to say, send the money here, not directly to me. Then maybe the money might be going to the landlord. You can be sure of that, that it's not going directly to her. It's going to somebody else. But sending it to her, well, the money might not be going for what you think it is. You're okay, to... hold on. That was interesting and I just missed it. Sorry about that. Let me go back. Okay, so Gayla says she didn't. She's been on for hours and hours. Deadline was noon. I guess landlord had a heart. So the deadline was 12 o'clock. She's been on for hours. And yet it's almost five. Like one more hour and be five o'clock. One more hour and it's five. Did, did she get on the phone? at noon and, and say to the landlord, hey, can I have four or five more hours to fix this? Landlords are sometimes really hard to get a hold of. That, that's another thing that looks fishy, fishy to me. It's not like you have their personal phone number. Usually if you're dealing with an apartment complex, there is uh, the person at the front desk and they relay lay messages to the landlord and the property manager so wouldn't you be talking to the property manager and not the landlord? Because it's not a private residence. It's, it's like a shared complex. Wouldn't you be talking to the property manager and not the landlord? You're allowed to 
on taxable income, you're allowed to make 1400 and something dollars a month. And then she said that as long as it says gift or donation, you don't have to report it. But I do anyways because I get a 1099. It's to, my landlord wants me to pay at least 10% of my rent, <coughs> excuse me, to prevent eviction from you starting. You know, it, if you are under investigation, if you are allowed to make a little over $1,000, if that's okay, then why are they investigating you? And if you're making over 1000 why are you behind in your rent? Because I don't, I don't know exactly what you get as far as a check. I'm not in your pocket, but book, nor do I want to be. But it sounds like you're getting more than $1,000 in donations from people on TikTok. And if that's true, you should have had at least a couple of months worth of rent paid with that. Because it's so late. I, I, I kind of doubt that. Like, I look, $420... $420. Ow. I'm gonna itch on my back. Uh 420 bucks. That's not a lot. That doesn't really sound like a whole lot of back rent. I I, I could be wrong though. 420 bucks does not sound like a whole lot of back rent. I mean I would think like a couple thousand or three thousand or four thousand would be serious back rent but 420 bucks but if anyone can help out oh yeah nicolette you know and it just of course it's somebody who does it anonymously so that sends number one flag up in people's heads you know if you're going to be yeah some of the beggars these days they've gotten smarter they've gotten craftier they know that people are on the lookout for other people who ask for large sums of money like one big lump sum all at one time so they're going more under the covers about things you know they ask for small amounts but they do it in front of a lot of people be serious you're gonna stay your name, so whatever. I don't suddenly go offline, Simon says. Usually I try to stay on, and I have a bunch of people saying, Oh, you got your shit, get off. Right now it's 345, my dukes. Oh, yeah, Donna, I wish I could work. I so wish I could work. Working gave me a purpose. At five o'clock, eviction starts. Yeah, and again, that doesn't make sense either. Alicia says they can't evict you for being a couple weeks late. Like that that sounds unusual to me. If you're two weeks late, they're gonna evict you? What kind of lease is this? Yeah, some people do have a heart. You don't have to, Rosa. Jay, I have an appointment with the town hall to see if I can get rental assistance. And if they've served you with an eviction notice, Where's the eviction notice? Because eviction is pretty final. I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. I apologize. She has not been evicted yet. They're threatening eviction and they're saying like it's, it's going to be a done deal at five o'clock. So I forgive me. I spaced out on that. That was my bad. But uh, you got an hour and 20 minutes to fix this. I don't know if you can. Since one time. Wait, stop. So Rosa said, you said eviction started yesterday. Are you lying? So hold on a minute. 
like I said, eviction is pretty final. Like once they put the wheels in motion for that to happen, there's no stopping it. It's not like the, the landlord's going to hit you up and go, you're being evicted. Oh, no, you're not. April Fool's. Once they start putting the paperwork through to get you out of there, like it's, it's a done deal. There's no working it out. You might be able to work it out before that point. So with, again, which is it, Amanda? Are you being evicted or are you not? If I don't get it by five, then eviction starts. And another thing, this little things are just hitting me right now. So, like, again, I've lived in apartment complexes before. Different places have different hours. In my experience, the landlord, whoever owns the building, he's not even in the building. He's got a management team of people that are his employees handling all the paperwork and stuff. Five o'clock, that sounds like a time when the office is going to be closing. So if five o'clock is the closing time for the office, like, yeah, maybe it might be too late, but it's not like at five o'clock, they're going to sit down and do the paperwork right away. Like they're all going to be going home for dinner. Sorry, you feel that way, Scott. I'll pray for you. Oh, stop. Imagine lying said you said your rent is 500 and your check is 900. Why do you need assistance if you get more than most? Good question. Yeah, and another person saying what I was thinking. Shan says, it takes months to evict. They're not lying about that. If you got a tenant that they they really want to make things hard for you, they can stay in the apartment for maybe three more months after the eviction notice. If they do an appeal, go to the courts and all that. Um, Chick Jen, I don't ever need money for an Uber. My, I need to okay, like I, I'm, I'm curious about something. I'm, I'm sorry to keep stopping, but I'm just, I just find that weird. Like four hundred twenty dollars for rent. Like, where is this place? Is rent really that cheap? Cheap apartments for rent in Maine. Like, what? what is the price? Like, hold on a second. I'm, I'm looking. I guess I really want to know, like, is it really for, like, is it really 420 bucks? Or uh, is it because uh, she's on some sort of a program and they're helping her out with the rent? I mean, okay. Average rent prices in Maine. I'm looking it up now. Overall average fair market rent, $1,477. Average rent price for apartments, $1,633. Average rent price for houses is $2,183. It ranges from $733, excuse me, so sorry. It ranges from $734 for a two-bedroom apartment and Aerostook county to 1,592 for a two bedroom unit in Portland. So even at the lowest, $734. And that's for a two bedroom. I don't know what size apartment she has. Still, that's not 420. Like, how, where is she getting the 420 rent? Like, I've never heard of rent being that low. 
give my landlord 10% of my rent by five o'clock tonight or eviction's going to start because he's not even going to be in the office at five o'clock. Five o'clock is when most places close. Most rental apartments, uh, the, the main office, they close around five. <laughs> They're not going to close up and then come right back in just to write up some papers for you. My rent is so late. Because I can't physically get a job, K Gunner, because I am in remission for bone cancer. It left me with a hole in my hip. And there, there's the lie. I have bone cancer. Well, I did some digging on you, Amanda. You've been a very, very bad girl. Lying about something you really have no business lying about. You don't have the bone cancer, from what I've read. Something happened to you and your daughter. There was a bit of an accident and you had to have hip replacement surgery, which is severe and painful, but that's not cancer. I don't know why you would lie about something like that. There's lots of people out there that are really going through it. Why would you lie about something that severe just to get money out of people? That's just horrible. I put all my pelvis. I mean, you even went so far as to steal somebody else's scans and claim them as your own, and you got caught. Okay, so here's a great comment. Y'all look at this. Shan5864 says, never, ever heard of this, and I was a rental manager for 20 years. Yes, yeah, it's, it's it's sounding fishy. It sound real fishy. April, if I can't get it, then I eviction starts on me. How do I think about you continuing to make IDs and coming back just to bully me more? No, I, I pay a portion of my rent, Alicia. So, yeah, somebody just asked the question, did you get a notice yet? Because before they issue the official eviction, they will give you a warning or they'll come talk to you or they'll call you and say, hey, what's going on here? Is there something we can do? Like, is, can we work this out somehow? Can you give us a partial payment? Before they push through with the eviction, which is a long process for a landlord. It, you know, you've got to issue the warnings, of course. You got to do all the paperwork. You got to take the person to court. And it, it's a long, drawn out process. You're going to try to work with the tenant first. Okay, so trick, Tricky Nikki says, at Shan, I worked at an, a corporate over 26 apartment complexes. I agree. So two people that have previous experience with working at apartment complexes, and they're saying, we've never heard of a situation like this. And they worked in the field. Yep, somebody asking, have you been served a three-day notice yet? Thank you. And Lucky says, if, if if you ain't been to court, there's no eviction. Right. For the $2, I do appreciate it. Okay. Alicia says, legal eviction cannot happen unless you are more than 30 days late. Tenants have rights. So she's only two weeks late. So how can there possibly be a, an eviction? She's not even a month late yet. Thank you so much. No, I didn't get fifty dollars for rent last week. And Angela says, I tried to help you, but you ignored me five times. Good luck. 
The notice to quit won't be started until after five o'clock. That's that's a lie. That is a lie. Lies. I'm telling you, lies, lies, lies. 5 p.m. The people that are working in the office, they're going home. They're not going to sit down for an hour and fill out some paperwork and post something on her door. I wish I could get a job, Ronnie. I've been trying to find help all day long. Angela, I haven't seen anything. I'm sorry. No. Yeah, people saying, show us the notice. If, if she's got an eviction notice, it'll be right there in the house. They usually post it on your door or give it to you in person. Well, I didn't get 50 from last night. Oh, are, are we skipping ahead? I need $50, Nick. Boy, that amount changed real fast. It went from 42 to 50. <laughs> Girl, if you're having trouble getting 42, what makes you think you're going to get 50? Why is the amount going up all of a sudden? So that I can prevent. My rent is normally 500. Uh so uh, wait, 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 wait. Stop, stop, stop. You started out the live saying... You needed 10% of your rent. You needed $42, 10% of four, of, uh, of four, 10% 10, 10 of 420 is $42. So why did the amount change? And why did the amount of your rent change? Um, but yeah, exactly. Somebody's saying, but I thought you just needed 42. Keep your lie straight, liar. He only wants 10% to prevent from eviction because I told him what's going on. So he just wants something to say, you know, I'm going to get paid. Yeah, and now, peop now people in the chat are getting mad. They're like, wait a minute, hold on. I thought you said you only needed 42. Why did you change the amount now? Like, There's mutiny in the chat right now. Alicia, when you don't pay your rent on time and it states it in the lease that eviction will be started, yeah. Okay, so this person, Kentucky girl, says, my husband is a state trooper and he said it has to be signed off by a judge first uh, before it could. Yeah, there's a whole legal process. And I wish I could get a job. Yeah, and somebody's saying it takes 60 to 90 days to get somebody out. That's why landlords will try to work with you first. They, they really don't want to go through all that. They don't want to spend the money. They don't want to spend the money on lawyers and attorney fees and all that stuff. They don't want to spend money if they don't have to. They'd rather just get the money from you if they can. Or they're hoping that if you are a tenant that you can't pay, that if you realize you can't pay, that you will get out on your own and that way they don't have to spend the money to get you out, divorce you out. Melissa, I've answered every question I've seen. I can't show a notice that I don't have. And I don't roll my eyes. No, but you're getting really defensive with people, Amanda. I can hear it in your voice. People are coming to you and they're asking you all kinds of questions and making comments about this doesn't feel right. And why is the amount changing? Like you said, one amount that you need and your rent's really low and that looks really weird because usually rent is higher and you're getting flustered. I can hear it in your voice. You're getting really flustered because people are starting to grill you and, and things ain't smelling right. The waft of deception is in the air and everybody can smell it. And you know you're, you're, you're getting caught here. So you're going on the, de the defense. I'm trying to get a stay-at-home job. The rest will have to be by the ne end of next week unless I get um, help from the town hall. So wait a minute. So you're saying that you'll get something next week. For, for, okay. Ugh. I'm, I'm so confused, y'all. Help me. My brain is spinning with all these details that don't make sense. Okay. So first, 
Amanda is saying that whatever check she's receiving for whatever amount, uh, it's being investigated. It's been delayed. Then she's saying she's getting something next week. So if you're getting something next week, why can't you talk to the landlord and let them know that? And say, hey, I'm, I'm getting a check next week. Keep in contact with them. Let them know. I mean, if they can avoid the process of eviction and they get their money in a week, I'm sure they'd work with you because that's really all they want. They want to get paid. I can normally afford this as long as I get my check. Okay, so Rhonda Roy says, I'm a litigation paralegal and this is not right. <laughs> We got some legal eagles in the chat. We got some people. Okay, so, so far we've had two people that worked at apartment complexes come forward and say, this, this doesn't smell right. Now we have a litigation paralegal and they're saying it doesn't smell right. I'm not very choosy. I try to answer everything. Okay, so uh, the name is Harley says, at Deborah Roberts 3771. I work as an eviction paralegal and she isn't being honest. Yeah, like, I, listen, I don't have any legal training like that, but even as someone with no training, no degree, nothing, I, I can even tell that she's lying. The landlord can do what they want, basically. It definitely. Um, I need. Oh, I need forty dollars now. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Y'all help me. This is too much. What a roller coaster ride. Am I strapped in? I think I need to strap myself in for this one. So it went from forty-two. I need forty-two dollars up to fifty, down to forty. What? real well hopefully this whole investigation will be over with Paige and I'll be able to pay my own yes there, several people in the chat have offered to pay her landlord directly they're saying can you provide us with something so we can give the money directly to the landlord and she's not coming forward and offering a way to pay the landlord. No, she's saying, send the money to me and trust me with it. I wouldn't trust you with a dollar. Imagine, I can't even right now. And she's getting flustered because she's getting grilled and there are people in the chat that know what they're talking about. So when you have a lying liar who lies, they can't keep their lies straight and they're telling a fishy story and then they get people in front of them that know more than they do, grilling them they get all kinds of flustered. And, and by the way, she's trying to say that landlords can do whatever they want. No, they can't. There are laws protecting renters and the landlords too. And people are pointing that out to her in the chat. They're like, landlords can't do whatever they want to you. There are laws protecting those that rent. It's Beach Vibe, you're actually wrong still because I needed 40, um, 42. I just got two dollars. I got a freaking migraine, too. Imagine lying, come on. I, I again, so she has a migraine. Boy, the things just keep adding up, don't they? You got a migraine. I have known people that have had serious migraines, and I realize there are different degrees of migraines. But I've had really, really, really bad headaches. I don't think I've ever experienced a true monster migraine like that. But I do know a friend that suffers with constant migraines. How in the world can you have a migraine 
your head pounding and be on TikTok for hours? How is that possible? Like just staring at your phone or a computer, like it hurts your eyes. It's going to make your head hurt worse and talking even more so. so. Why do you keep lying, Amanda? You need to stop. Okay, so Harley Angel says, I'm a property manager. Uh, can't, can't put the eviction on the door till 30 days letter of demand by five, maybe. And somebody else, Good Eats, saying, you got $18 last night. So where'd that money go? I will get a notice and the eviction process will start at five o'clock if I don't have 10% in. That, no, 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 no. If they gave you till five, they're, they're, not, they're not watching the clock on you. And saying as as soon as five o'clock hits, we're walking to her door and putting a notice on. They might do it the next morning if you're really, really late, if that's what things come to, but it's not gonna happen that day. It might happen the next day. To my landlord. Eviction doesn't take months, honey. I wish I had family, Amy. Where's your husband? Why isn't he helping? What exactly is he doing? Like, does, does he have any money? Does he have any friends, any family? Why, why aren't the two of you going to them? The landlord decided I could do. The landlord can't be paid directly. Oh, yes, they can. Oh, yes, they can. Oh, no, it doesn't. Maybe in your land, but not mine. I didn't ignore the landlord questions. I just answered it. Actually, eviction can take as little as seven days. Yeah, here's another suggestion. Why not pay the office directly? Is there anywhere where the money can be sent directly to them? Nicole, I'm not able to work in remission for bone cancer. No, you're not. I went on Reddit. You lied about that. And I, I, I still can't believe that you lied about that. That's Why would anybody do that? From what I read, you had hip replacement surgery due to an auto accident. How did that turn into cancer? And why would you steal somebody else's scans and claim them as your own? And you got caught doing it. Funny how I have answered that question. All my landlord is requesting is 10%. And... The judge will look at that and be like, that's not much. Okay, so LB says you always need the same amount. My son was the same when he was blank to something, like had a problem with substances. I'm like, I, I don't know if she's on anything. I don't think she is. But I, I, I keep noticing that all the TikTok beggars, they always ask for the low amounts. They don't go for the big money, not right away. Private message me, Kentucky girl. We get somebody in the chat that's actually a landlord. Ooh. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> Tough crowd, huh, Amanda? You thought you were just going to come on here and 
put your sob story on everybody with all the sketchy details and there'd be nobody in the chat that could prove you wrong. So, so far we've had two people that worked with apartment complexes. We've had a paralegal and now we've had an actual landlord. Tough crowd. You can't pay online, honey. Beg your pardon. You can't pay online. Lies. Oh, now we got property owners. Yeah. Look at the sarcasm. Now we have property owners in here. Well, we you had a paralegal and two people who worked in the on rental properties and they all called you on your nonsense there's not a single person that has an experience in that field that's agreeing with anything you're saying like if she really wanted to get her rent paid if this were a real thing I've seen numerous people in the chat saying, I will contribute to this back rent if I can pay your landlord. People are asking in the chat, like, here's one comment right here saying, can I pay the landlord? They don't want to give the money to her. They don't trust her. They don't trust her word. They're saying, is there somewhere we can send the money to the landlord? If she cared enough, she would provide a link or a way to give the money directly to the landlord. There's got to be a way got to no she wants the money in hand for something else they can start a notice to quit and eviction after the set date for the rent my rent is due no later than the 10th of the month he is letting me only pay that, that's, an, that's another thing that feels funny to me so usually when your your rent is due, they give you until the 5th, not the 10th. Like you're due on the 1st, but there's a five-day grace period. I've never heard of a 10-day grace period. No percent. I already called Community Action today and they cannot help. After everything with people. And usually when you're late with your rent, not only do you have to pay your rent, but there is a... Like uh, some places they'll tack on like say $50 or $75 is kind of a late fee. So what about the late fee? Well, invading my personal life. Information. I'm needing $40. <laughs> From 42 up to 50, back down to 40. Girl, buy. I don't have the payment info for the landlord. They do not do that. I will have to go get a money order down to store. A money order? Why? I'm confused. Why a money order? Most landlords they'll take a uh, they'll take a you know online payment. They kind of prefer it that way versus a money order or a check. Why do it that way? I mean, I'm sure, like a payment is payment. I'm sure the landlord would be happy to take whatever payment, but I just, I just find it weird that, you know, direct deposit is usually the way to go. Colon cancer and bone cancer, Harley, are two extremely different things. And you're pretty damn ignorant for telling me I'm lazy.
So Nay Na says, if you can't pay this month, how are you going to pay next month? Okay, uh, King King says, are you still on here begging for money? You got some last night, so you still don't need 40. And I get like, people, people in the chat are saying that she comes on every day asking for 40 bucks. She's not even smart enough to change the amounts for different reasons. It's always the same amount. Because somebody on here reported saying that I was hiding income. If you think this is entitlement, you need to look your definitions up, honey. Ah, here's some interesting information from Boomer. Boomer said, you said you didn't get your check because you changed banks. I, I don't know if that would be a problem. But wouldn't that mean that the check or the deposit is delayed, not actually stopped? So is a check in transit? And because you changed banks, it's in transit? Or is it is it being investigated? There's two different things here. Uh, Chiquita says she's lying. Who called your SSI and reported? Accusations don't get you cut off. Yeah, because they, then they have to do an investigation, and that may take a while. They're not going to do it immediately. Christy, I'm if they do it. I'm sorry you feel that way. You know, I'm just going to wait for the eviction letter, so I have proof to show to you guys. And Turn her in on here. I don't get section eight. Okay, so like I, w I was kind of wondering about that. That if she was on, say, controlled rent housing, like section eight, because that would explain the lower rent. I don't know what deal she found that she's paying $420 in rent since normal rent's much higher. So I'm I'm still clueless about how she managed to get a place for 420 bucks a month. Sparkles, the last thing this is for is addiction. I've been and, and it and again, I think it's funny. She went from the rent is 420 to 500. So. Are you paying rent on two different places cuz the rent is different on each of them. Sober since September 22nd, 2015. I take my sobriety 100% fucking proudly. And I will continue to take it proudly. Indeed is a joke. No fly girl, I won't because the stores break down the street. I'll borrow my neighbor's car. Okay. That was interesting. It's right down the street. I'll borrow my neighbor's car. Then why do you take so many taxis and always asking for taxi money? I am done showing proof. I'm done. Every time I do that, I get reported and no. If there was a way for them to accept electronic payment or payment on the phone, hang on. I have the um, town hall calling me back right now, so I will be back on in a little bit. If anyone can help out my- That sounds funny, too. The town hall's calling you at 5 o'clock. Okay. CA's right here. PayPal and Venmo in my bio. Anything does help. So that was the live, y'all. That was a lot. That was a lot. The many lies that were being told. One right after the other. None of it looking and making any kind of sense. 
Amanda, 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 you are a special one, aren't you? Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that react. If you have, please like and subscribe and leave a comment. Thank you so much for being here and uh, watching this with me and uh, being part of the audience. Really appreciate it. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, take care of yourselves and each other. Bye now.